Bishop Ryan recognizes that the city of Hamilton is situated upon the traditional territories of the Erie, Neutral, Huron-Wendat, Haudenosaunee, and Mississaugas. This land is covered by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, which was an agreement between the Haudenosaunee and Ashnabe to share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. We further acknowledge that this land is covered by the Between the Lakes Purchase, 1792, between the Crown and the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations. Today, the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary was introduced at the, after the, to commemorate the victory after the Battle of Lepino in 17, 1571. This victory was attributed to the answer to prayers. And, and so, and however we celebrate the feast, we emphasize the rosary as a Marian devotion, which brings us closer to Jesus. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Jesus, May we draw closer to you, Mother Mary, through the prayer of the rosary. In this prayer, we meditate on the mysteries of your life and hers. Mary, we ask this through your intercession, the greater love of your son. Keep us close to him and show us how to imitate him as you did. Amen. Bishop, Br Bishop Ryan, pray for us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, Bishop Ryan. As many of you have heard, we have now had and confirmed our second COVID positive case. The student was last in school on September 27th, and I'm happy to tell you that the student is isolating and doing fine at home. Close contacts have now been contacted by the school and are isolating, with some of those students returning as early as of today. There's no connection to any of our previous cases, in fact, our previous case, uh, to this one here, so this is not a state of outbreak, as we talked about last time around. I encourage you to continue to practice your COVID and pandemic safety measures here in the building, which include masking at all times, making sure you're hand washing or hand sanitizing on a regular basis, and maintaining safe physical distance wherever possible in the building and outside the building on our property. It is so very imperative that you complete your COVID self-assessment each and every day and you take the time to show your teacher at the beginning of class. In addition to that, if you fail your COVID self-assessment or if you're just not feeling well, it is always a good tactic and a measure to stay home and let whatever is going through your body pass through, returning when you're symptom-free. On that note, Bishop Ryan, have a happy Thanksgiving as I don't think I will end up speaking to you tomorrow and I wish you a great long week. Good morning, staff and students. This morning, I'm going to briefly be reviewing the fire drill procedures that will be taking place this morning. Your class evacuation is going to take place in the same time slot that was in the memorandum that was distributed to you in the past. 
The first phase of the classroom evacuation will take place at 845 this morning. As you are aware, you're going to be implementing the drill in a staggered approach, and that is once again to ensure physical distancing. As per regulation, we must also let you hear what the fire alarm sounds like at the end of my announcement. This way you will know the difference between the lockdown siren that you heard yesterday and the fire drill siren. Here are some quick reminders. Evacuate as per your scheduled time. Please set a timer or alarm to simulate the sound of the fire alarm and then commence your classroom evacuation. Leave at exactly the time you are scheduled to evacuate so that administration will have an opportunity to see the flow of traffic throughout the day. Ensure that the students exit in a manner that conforms with uh, COVID physical distancing. Close any windows and lock your classroom doors. Make sure you exit the building and that your students maintain a minimum of 15 meters or 15 feet, 50 feet away from the building. And once you as a teacher are satisfied that the students know exactly what to do during a fire alarm, you can then return to your class and maintain the same physical distancing protocol. Also ensure that when the students return to class that they sanitize their hands. And lastly, it is very important that if the fire alarm ever sounds and there has not been any planned and or school scheduled fire drill, then you would evacuate as you have in the past. This means that the entire school will evacuate at the same time at the sounding of the alarm. At this time, I'm going to ask our caretaker, Mr. Brooks, to sound the fire alarm. So once again, you'll have an opportunity to hear what it sounds like. Mr. Brooks. Thank you, Mr. Okay, Thank you, Mr. Brooks. This is Mr. Gravina reporting to you from WRBR. Uh, wait a minute, wait. Good morning, BR players. I mean, dang it. Good morning, Bishop Ryan. Hey, BR players. Today are the callbacks at last. Check the notices posted outside the stage doors and drum room doors. Callbacks today on your lunch or after school. Remember, don't worry if you don't see your name on this list as you may have already gotten a part. The cast list goes up tomorrow, Friday. Then, please come to the drama room tomorrow as well to pick up your script. You can all read over, over for the weekend for Tuesday's first rehearsal. The meet and greet in the table read booth.
Thank you, Bishop Ryan, for your patience. We're just experiencing some surge in the studio. Stand by in about one minute. Good morning again, DR. Apologies for all the issues, but let's continue. Hey, DR players, today are the callbacks. Check the notices posted outside the stage doors and drum room doors. And the callbacks will be today on your lunch or after school. Remember, don't worry if you don't see your name on this callback list, as you may have already gotten a card. The cast list goes up tomorrow, or Friday to be more specific. Then. Please come by the drama room to pick up your script tomorrow, so you can read it over the long weekend for Tuesday's first rehearsal, the meet and greet in the table read booth. Thank you for all your support, you amazing DR student actors and singers. This year's school play, Hot Rod, Cruising Back to the 50s, a musical, is going to be awesome. Thank you from the Centro. Good morning, Bishop Ryan students. Here from your BRIC, we have a few announcements today. Your Bishop Ryan homecoming will be... Well, you'll hear more about the, about the homecoming after. We're still experiencing some technical difficulties, so expect more cutouts like this. Anyways, your Bishop Ryan homecoming will be next week, so stay tuned for great festivities. The Celtics video crew or the CVC are looking for your talent. Join the Celtics video team in the studio or room 114 if you're interested in capturing highlights at games and school events. We need you this year and you can earn precious Christian service hours. Don't delay, join CVC today. That's all from me and stay tuned for more great announcements. Good morning, Bishop Ryan. This is Mr. Mazza here from Celtics 3 with a special announcement. Today we'll be having our first official meeting in room 209 with myself, Miss Scarbetta, and Miss Halotic. We're going to be making tie-dye shirts. It's going to be a lot of fun, so I look forward to seeing all of you there. Thank you very much, and have a lovely day. Celtics field hockey team played their best game of the season, upsetting the first place previously undefeated Crusaders with a score of 2-0. Fiona and Bianca put up the points, but it was a collective victory earned by the entire unit. Well done, ladies. Thank you, and stay tuned for more WRBL. Good morning, Bishop Ryan. Uh, my announcement again today is uh, from Coach Francis. Uh, yesterday we started our uh, sign-up for the girls and the boys wrestling team and uh, I, we're pleased to see that we had close to 50 people sign up on the first day of registration and that's excellent and we're going to have our second day of registration again today so again we encourage students especially our grade nines because this is the year that you start if you want to have a great career in wrestling at Bishop Ryan where you're going to register by looking for a poster like this it's along the uh, hallway corridor of the, of the gym area in front of the fitness room and in front of the uh, phys ed offices, so and you'll see a, uh, a bar bar uh, QR code which you are to scan, and I'll bring you to the registration form where you can fill it out and enter. And we'll be starting our preseason training on Tuesday when we come back from the long weekend. So once again, from Coach Francis, we encourage uh, the new members to join our wrestling team and prepare for our girls and boys uh, wrestling season this year. And that's all I have for now. Back to WRBL. Good morning, Bishop Ryan students. I'm Leah. And I'm Cheryl. 
here from your VRSC for a few announcements. Your Bishop Ryan homecoming will be next week, so stay tuned for great festivities. This includes door decorating, cahoots, and so much more, so make sure to listen to upcoming announcements. A good way to stay updated is by following our socials. It is at Bishop underscore Ryan SC on both Instagram and TikTok now, too. We will be sharing some fun content on TikTok shortly, so don't miss out. That's all from us. Have a great day, VR.